Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare decimals. Let's jump into number one, where we are comparing 25 hundredths and 6 tenths. Now, please keep in mind, we can't automatically say that 25 hundredths is greater because it has more digits or because 25 is greater than 6. It doesn't work that way when it comes to decimals. The length of a decimal, the number of digits, does not determine which decimal is greater. We have to compare the place values. So first, what we need to do is line up the decimal points. So we have 25 hundredths and 6 tenths. Lining up the decimal points lines up all of the places. So we have zeros in the ones place, a two and a six in the tenths place, and then a five in the hundredths place. Now this may look a little off since it's offset. This is because our decimals go to different places. So what we can do, we can use placeholder zeros. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the decimal. So they give us an equivalent decimal. So we're able to do this. Since 25 hundredths goes to the hundredths place, let's use a placeholder zero here. That way, this decimal goes to the hundredths place as well. Now this looks a little more lined up and neater. It can also help us compare. Once we have our decimal points lined up, and we use placeholder zeros, we compare digits from left to right. We go place by place comparing digits. We start at the furthest place to the left because that's the greatest place value, and we work our way right. So here, starting to the left, we have zeros in the ones place, so no whole numbers. Since both of these do not have whole numbers to compare, we move to the next place to the right, the tenths place. We have a two and a six. So is there a difference here? Can we compare? Yes, six is greater than two. So this is greater. The tenths place is a greater place value than anything to the right. So any digits to the right of the tenths place do not impact this comparison. So we were able to compare these decimals based on the tenths place. Now I do want to mention another way to think about this, we can think in terms of the entire decimal since they both go to the hundredths place. We have 25 hundredths and 60 hundredths. 60 hundredths is greater than 25 hundredths. And since 60 hundredths is equivalent to 6 tenths, we know that 6 tenths is greater here. Now remember, our comparison symbol always opens up towards the greater value. So it goes like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as 25 hundredths is less than 6 tenths. Let's move on to number two, where we are comparing 72 hundredths and 72 thousandths. Let's line up the decimal points. So 72 hundredths and 72 thousandths. Since 72 thousandths goes to the thousandths place, let's use a placeholder zero right here. That way, both decimals go to the thousandths place. And now we can compare. So we are going digit by digit from left to right, starting with the greatest place value. So we are starting from the left. We have zeros in the ones place, so we don't have any whole numbers to compare. Let's move to the right to the tenths place. We have a seven and a zero. Seven is greater than zero. So this is greater. And we can also think in terms of the whole decimal here since they both go to the thousandths. We have 720 thousandths and 72 thousandths. 
720 thousandths is greater than 72 thousandths. So for our original comparison, 72 hundredths is greater. We can read this from left to right as 72 hundredths is greater than 72 thousandths. Moving on to number three, we are comparing one and 529 thousandths and one and 523 thousandths. Let's line these up. So one and 529 thousandths and one and 523 thousandths. Both of these go to the thousandths place, so we don't need any placeholder zeros. So let's start comparing digits from left to right. The greatest place value, the place furthest to the left, is the ones place. So let's start here and work our way right. Now for number three, we do have whole numbers here, but we can't compare. We have the same number, we have ones. So we need to move to the right to the tenths place. Can we compare here? Is there a difference? No, we have fives. So we can't compare the tenths place. Let's move to the right to the hundredths place. Do we have a difference here? Can we compare? No, we have the same digit, two. So let's move to the next place to the right, the thousandths place. Can we compare here? Do we have a difference? Yes, we have a nine and a three. Nine is greater than three. So this is greater. And we were able to compare using the thousandths place. So our comparison symbol goes like this, and we can read this from left to right as one and 529 thousandths is greater than one and 523 thousandths. Next, let's move on to number four, where we are comparing four and three tenths and four and 300 thousandths. So let's line these up off to the side here. So four and three tenths and four and three hundred thousandths. Four and three hundred thousandths goes to the thousandths place. So let's use placeholder zeros after four and three tenths. So that goes to the thousandths place as well. Now you may notice these are equal. We have the same exact number, the same exact digits. We have a four in the ones place, a three in the tenths, a zero in the hundredths, and a zero in the thousandths. So these are equal. Four and three tenths is equal to four and three hundred thousandths. These decimals are equal in value. And remember, like we talked about earlier, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the decimal. So we can even take these zeros off of the end here because they are not changing the value at all. So we can also look at this as four and three tenths is equal to four and three tenths. Next, let's move on to number five where we are comparing two and one tenth and one and nine tenths. Let's line these up. So two and one tenth and one and nine tenths. Both of these go to the tenths place, so we don't need any placeholder zeros. So now let's compare digits. We will work our way from left to right. We'll start with the ones place, where we have a two and a one. So we are comparing the whole numbers here. And this is an important example because we are starting with the whole numbers. Don't skip the whole numbers and go straight to the decimals in case we have a difference like we do here. We do have a difference. We can compare the whole numbers. Two is greater than one. So this is greater. Two and one tenth is greater. So reading this from left to right, two and one tenth is greater than one and nine tenths. Lastly, let's move on to number six where we are comparing 487 thousandths and 49 hundredths. Again, remember the length of a decimal, the number of digits a decimal has, does not determine which decimal is greater. So let's line these up and see what our comparison is going to look like. So we have 
487 thousandths and 49 hundredths. Let's use a placeholder zero here. So both decimals go to the thousandths place. And now we can compare digits. We will work our way left to right, starting with the greatest place value, the ones place here. We don't have any whole numbers. We just have zeros. So we can move to the tenths place. Do we have a difference here? Can we compare here? No, we have the same digit, four. So we need to move to the right to the hundredths place. We have an eight and a nine. So we can compare here. Nine is greater than eight. So this is greater. And we were able to compare these decimals by looking at the hundredths place. So 49 hundredths is greater. And we can read this comparison from left to right as 487 thousandths is less than 49 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how to compare decimals. Line up the decimal points, use placeholder zeros if need be, and then compare digits working from left to right. So we start at the greatest place value and work our way right. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.